Okay, we'll give it just a little bit of time here while our posts are generated. And there we are. We have 107 posts that were generated. Um, let's go ahead and check those out and I'll show you what they look like. Let's go to our post real quickly here, our list of posts. Um, I should probably go to the category because I already have posts from uh, other categories. So let's go to Soho Apartments. That's where we just posted. Let's click here on our post. <clears throat> These are all the posts that we just generated. Remember we started or we post dated them back to 2007. So they're all published now. And here is the, uh, the keyword that I told you was not going to generate any results. But before we look at that, let's look at one that uh, has generated, generated results and we'll come back to that. So we'll click on this one here. And as you notice, you're not going to see any content in the post, uh, in the editor here, in the HTML editor. All you're going to see is this little tag. And that's, don't be worried about that. But what, what I want to show you is when we click on view post here, and we go uh, to visit that page, or to that post, um, here's our content, okay? Now the way Content Revenge works is the content uh, is not unpacked. Uh, on your site until the page is visited. So let me show you what that means. We go back here, I'll refresh the editor, and remember all we have first, before we visited that page, all we had here was this uh, tag. So I'm going to refresh it, and there you go. We're in HTML mode, so there's all the HTML related uh, to this post right here. Okay? Now, if you look here in our, this is a, a widget that, that I have showing my latest topics, which essentially is my latest post. Um, this is the only one, uh, Monroe of Soho, that is has been unpacked, and you see the image here. All these others have not been unpacked yet. Now, if I click on this and I go to that post, that's going to, oh, that's the one that uh, will not generate any content. Remember this uh, keyword here does not generate any content, and. When that happens, because this keyword is so obscure and we're unable to get any content for that, you're going to see this CR tag. And that means that this post is blank. However, our plugin is now, now that this has been unpacked, our plugin will now delete this automatically. So if I refresh this page, it's not going to be found. So I just refreshed it, gone. That blank page is now no longer a part of our uh, blog, okay? so. Let's go back to uh, yeah. Let's go back to um, our posts here, and uh, I want to show you how this is going to unpack by visiting it. So, oops, that was the wrong one. Let me refresh this page, and you'll see this is going to be uh, uh, deleted as well. That'll no longer be there. There, it went away. Okay. So that post that uh, was uh, that had a bad keyword is now no longer part of our blog. We'll be able to go back into the log and see that that was a bad keyword. Um, but going forward, um, we're going to unpack this next post here by visiting it. And it takes just a, a few seconds to unpack a post, but once you reload it, it loads much quicker. So there we go. It loaded within less than a second or so. Um, but a, a robot or a human visit will unpack these posts. Or you can, uh, you can visit the blog feed and also unpack the posts as well. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, let me show you what this content looks like. So this here is the banner that we uh, that we prepended with, and let me go back to content revenge here real quickly. I'm trying to rush through this because uh, it's a pretty simple process, but I also don't want to keep keep you here any longer than I have to. So um, this prepend content with this is the HTML code that I added. That's where you're seeing this banner right here. Okay, so every post is going to show. Uh, that particular banner at the top of our content. Now, let's go back here to um, Soho Apartment. So Soho Apartment dishes, I don't know, that's a weird keyword, but uh, I just threw those in there for the test. Um, this is the content that Content, generate, uh, content Revenge generates. These are snippets um, uh, from across the web that are, that are populating our blog post in such a unique fashion um, that it creates a very unique profile for each one of our posts and it's optimized for each one of our keywords and let me just tell you that these rank extremely well okay there's nobody else out there that's using this um, type of content in this way and therefore um, these pages are highly unique so they tend to rank very well now 
we have uh, 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 this is a uh, PDF document and going back let me show you one of our options here going back to our um, our uh, options here we have uh, turn do turn on document icons okay these are the document icons that's a PDF um, this is our Wikipedia that's just the little icon that represents this particular bit of snippet here tells you that uh, this content is pulled from Wikipedia this has been pulled from a, a PDF and if you notice our keyword Soho apartment dishes okay are in each one of these little content snippets the keyword itself each little keyword is bolded so we have Soho we have apartment and we have dishes that are bolded again highly optimized the search engines love this now continuing down we have some more PDF results we have a YouTube result here um, we also have uh, an about.com result and uh, on some of these posts you're going to see um, PowerPoint presentation content you're going to see Word document content you're going to see uh, Excel spreadsheet document or document content and each page is going to be different each one is going to be completely random from the other not only in the type of content that it generates um, but also in the way that these images are laid out on the page okay and I'm going to show you the differences between uh, page between the two or between multiple pages um, one of the other SEO optimized features we have here is the alt tags if you notice the alt tag of this particular image is Soho apartment dishes images so we have the keyword and the word images um, next image should say something different Soho apartment dishes pictures and this one uh, Soho apartment dishes images um, there's several variations of this and, and it's all based on a random algorithm that we've created this one says pictures the keyword and then pictures this one uh, says photos uh, this one says uh, pictures of so there, there's multiple variations of alt tags that are automatically included um, to enhance the SEO, SEO of your on-page uh, optimization now um, again I'm trying to go through this quickly here another thing that, that is, is really cool if you notice how the pictures are laid out here we have a picture on the right no picture a picture on the right and then a picture on the left if we go to another post here and we'll unpack this one um, if you notice here's a, a word a word document and also our images are laid out in a different fashion than they were on the other page so some of these are not going to have images which is good because we don't want to have every page looking the same um, some are staggered to the left some, some are staggered to the right and again the way that they're placed on the page is all built based on an algorithm a random algorithm that we have built into the plugin so every post is going to be different okay and that is really good for SEO um, so that each one of your pages looks unique to that specific keyword that you're trying to rank for which would be uh, in this particular case Madison at Soho Apartments Tampa now we could have used uh, Tampa as a negative keyword so that if this was only in New York which it is New York City apartment rentals if we would have known that Tampa was a negative keyword we could have used that um, here is a um, an Excel file doc or content coming from an Excel file like I told you earlier we're getting all sorts of document uh, results mixed in with Wikipedia mixed in with news mixed in with YouTube and about.com highly unique profile pages here and again nobody is doing this okay another thing if your theme uh, is set up to show tags on the page tags do not show up until the page is visited twice so it has to be unpacked once to show the content which can be done by a human visitor or a, a robot which could be the Google bot or um, uh, to show the I'm sorry not or but in order to show the tags here we'll just refresh the page and here we are we have our tags so those show up and they populate if your theme um, is set up to show tags those will populate upon the second visit okay um, what else do I have to show you here um, essentially I think that oh I wanted to go back here that that's that's how the content looks and that is how the content is generated um, going back here to our negative keywords or our deleted I'm sorry our deleted keywords I'm gonna click here let's refresh this page real quickly here maybe I don't have to let's just click there there we go 
Um, remember, pension plan uh, RFPU0027S did not generate any content, and um, that post was deleted automatically after it was unpacked. So now we have a record here. Uh, this particular keyword was deleted on this date. If we want to go back and fix that, um, we can. Uh, if we have a bunch of them, we can either uh, download them or just copy them from here and then modify them and then upload them again into Content Revenge um, and repost them. Or we can just clear them out here and move on and uh, not worry about it. So I think that's it. I think that uh, gives you a good indication of how Content Revenge works and it shows you how easily it pulls in uh, extremely valuable and extremely optimized for SEO content uh, which allows you to rank really well. Thanks for joining me and I'll look forward to seeing you in our next video.